and welcome to your John Market Update Charts for the day for today, Wednesday the 5th of April 2023. Mark Sinister, the Gun Markets, to lead you around what's happening today. Of course, overnight we had a mildly lower session in the US as the Dow and the S&P 500 snapped a four-day win streak to close lower. Not significantly so, down around a half percent across most of the major indices as markets took a pause from their recent move higher. Uh, U.S. futures are just above neutral in early Asian trading. Asian indices are mixed in early trading. The ASX is managing to hold on to small gains of around about 0.1%. European equity futures are pointing to a cautious open. And we saw a little move higher in the VIX, pausing after its recent drop. It's still above the 20 key level support. U.S. dollar index dropped again to hit new two-month lows. And FX markets are a little bit directionless in early action today, seeing a little bit of recovery in the AUD after, of course, it dropped subsequent to the RBA decision and statement yesterday. As a result, gold has breached the key 2000 and we've been discussing this for the last few days and it looks strong. It's trading around 2020 at this stage in the day. Copper, however, is not such a happy story. It did drop again out of that short-term range and is now testing the 200 EMA below that $4 level. Oil paused after its recent run higher and Bitcoin moved to the top of its short-term range around about 29.6 thousand. On the data front today, it's primarily dominated by global services PMI numbers and the US ADP jobs report out later tonight, which is the first of the three key jobs reports out this week. Of course, you've got weekly jobs tomorrow and then the non-farm payrolls on a Friday. So lots of the markets to digest. Of course, we're not that far away from the start of earnings season either in the US, less than 10 days before JP Morgan kicks things off. Let's just check out a couple of charts. Uh, it is worthwhile looking at a gold chart and you can see there that breach of 2000 in yesterday's trading, closing towards the high of the session in the US. In terms of where we could go up from here, we're suggesting that in the first instance, we may see it up to around about 2100 if this dollar weakness continues. Where it is now represents, if we look at the weekly chart, a high not seen since June 2020 when it hit 2083 as a close and nearly got to that 2100 level as it did also in March last year. So this is an important level we're playing with right now. Obviously, that psychological barrier of 2000 has been breached. The question is, can we move higher from here? On the ASX, not surprisingly, the gold stocks are outperforming. You can see here, if we take Bellevue Gold as an example, or you could throw a dart at gold stocks and hit one that's going up this morning. Bellevue looks really interesting as it is approaching a key level at 135, last tested in January, as you can see on the chart here. We're clearly in a significant uptrend after this retracement we had, bounce off the 200 EMA, but really since the beginning of March, we've been moving higher along with the price of gold. At a key point here, and of course, this represents all-time highs on this particular stock. It reported earnings well last time it reported and looks set for a move higher. We'd want it to breach that 135 before getting excited. There are others which are looking equally as interesting, such as West Gold and Chalice Mining, all of which are to the upside significantly. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.